Um, good, good. Uh, it sucks to be hurt. Uh, it sucks to, you know, be away um, from the court. But, uh, you know, this is a situation that, uh, that I'm in now. You have two other teammates who've gone through mm -hmm. the same injury. Have you talked to them or have they, what have they told you about it? Yeah, yeah. They both, you know, um, they took different time and it took Zach a little longer than Q to get back. Um, you know, every, everybody's different. So, you know, I'm trying to get back uh, as soon as possible, that's for sure. You know, when uh, Zach was out, I don't know for how long. Q was out also for, you know, a good couple months. Um, I'm trying to beat that time. Mark, can you explain to us what they told you about the extent of the injury? Well, but it's, you know, it's pretty, pretty simple. I mean, it's a degree, second degree MCL sprain where, you know, some of the tissue is uh, spatially torn. So uh, it takes time for that to recover. And uh, you know, hopefully, like I said, uh, um, in my mind, I'm trying to beat, you know, everybody's time. And, uh, and you know, what they tell me, I'm, you know, I know it's conservative and all, and all that. I'm trying to beat that time too. What, what do they tell you? What's the time? You know, that's they try to give me a week, but you know, three, four, six, eight. I don't care what number they say. I'm, uh, you know, I'll, I'll tell them that um, as, as soon as I can put my foot down on the floor and I can walk, um, you know, I'm gonna rush it and uh, speed the process. Always trying to be smart, also, so of course. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, I'm sure it's gonna be it's gonna be fine. You didn't seem to get any contact. Do you know what happened? Or? No, I saw Manu um, looking behind me because I, I low to the ball. I saw Manu looking behind me. I knew it was, was somebody behind me, so I kind of jumped, and uh, I felt something on my leg, and when I landed, uh, well, landed, I didn't jump high, but uh, when I put my weight on my leg, um, I felt I felt the pop, and uh, I think, you know, after that, uh, I knew something bad happened. I didn't know what it was, uh, but I just you know, walked up the court, got it checked out, and then they were pretty... You know, Dr. Aza was, you know, he said it here, and, uh, and the next day he confirmed it. I mean, what, what he thought it was, it definitely, you know, he hit it right on the point. What did they told you the recovery process would be like? Well, the first three or four weeks is going to be, you know, on crutches, not, trying not to put any weight on it, uh, make that uh, the ligament, uh, you know, get uh, stronger again. And after that, it's, it's going to be, you know, a slow process of uh, trying to see how they, you know, the, the, the ligament reacts to different... Uh, um, you know, weight and, and stuff like that, and you know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, after the first thing is the first three or four weeks. Try to not to put any weight on uh, on it, and after that, we're gonna go day by day. Recover in your absence. Well, we've been through situations similar similar to this, and uh, and uh, you know, it's gonna be a little different. And ch uh, roles are gonna change a little bit, but I'm I'm confident that the team it's, it's gonna play um, the way they're supposed to. You know, we are no excuse team. For a long time, we've been that way for a long time, and I don't, you know, I don't find this uh, for a good enough reason to be the first time that we're gonna have an excuse. So I know my teammates are gonna hold it down, and they're gonna do the, you know, gonna play, you know, play good basketball. I know we're gonna be able to win every game. I don't know if we're gonna go 20 no. I hope so. I wish we would go 20 no, but uh, but we don't. We just gotta play good basketball. Everybody gotta play with a purpose and be aggressive and, and help their teammates like we always do. No, nothing, nothing change. What's your role in it? Um, my role. <laughs> Well, it's going to be frustrating for me personally because uh, I like to be out there. I mean, uh, for me, it's going to be uh, a different process. I've never been out of the game for this long, but uh, you know, always there's always new, something new to learn, and uh, definitely it's going to be something new for me because I've never been put in this situation before uh, for this long, and uh, I'm going to help my teammate. I'm going to try to help my teammates in every way possible. With the shoulder, a couple of years ago, you did everything you could to play through that. Yeah. I mean, is that the same type of approach you're taking? Well, my, my first question when I went in there the other day, you know, when told me, well, you okay? Because they, they feel it was an ACL. Well, well, okay, well, take me up. And uh, when I go back in there, I say, no, no, your MCL is gone. I mean, not gone, but you, you, you heard your MCL. You can't go back in the game. So and then I realized that, you know, when, when I've been a little um, more serious than I, than I thought it was. And uh, the next day, you know, I asked them if I, with a good brace and taped up, I could play. They said, no, there's no way you can play with this. So, you know, the first thing I gotta do now is wait those three, four weeks for this thing to heal a little bit and, and, and build some uh, scar tissue on top of a uh, on top of the injury. So you basically did everything you could to talk them into playing? Yeah, they they won't they, they <laughs>